Hey, Rippy made it over to West Liberty, Ohio to the park, Lions Club Park. We're having a big concert tonight, Labor Day weekend, Saturday the 3rd. This guy got out of his car, he says it's okay to park here, which I have no authority whatsoever, but I says, no it's not, because if someone wants to come out, he's blocking them in, so I parked like that. I got like he got me a parking spot. They're pretty, pretty stiff on the parking over here. Um, and just people doing what they think they have to do regardless and I have no authority over that I didn't come here to run the show it's about a hundred bucks to go to the concert um, Miss Terry Clark's going to be here from Montreal, Canada it looks like they're having a meet and greet currently it's a country legends concert people are paying the ten dollars to park uh, it looks like the only alternative at this point. Um, just after 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm hoping to see the sawmill, which they, they clean up and put everything away on Sunday when I'm usually here. So we're here Saturday afternoon. Here's the happy farmer. Glad to see it this year. Camera's rolling. The sawmill has a big tractor running. And the guy who runs this looks just like the happy farmer guy. Uh, he's out of Walpole, y'all. Um, a very large red pickup. Some rough sawn over here. Some walnuts. Lions Club Park. Antique tractor show. A uh, Labor Day tradition. They're having garden tractor pulls today. Um, and tonight the concert. Last night was a car show. They'll race go karts. The show does go through Monday. Here's a thrasher, probably made in Ohio, Springfield, Illinois, I'm sorry. So here's the business center of the sawdust. People were... Has a little wooden... Yeah. It's nice, I can walk right up on it. Looks like a nice log, it's kind of short, but... And uh, the mill's kind of short too, isn't it? Nice little frick. Nice little mill. And uh, underneath um, a sliding door over there, looks like. Some roll up doors. And there's a the door that flips out. These are all on sliders, double sliders. A little. Perfect little building to close it up when uh, it's in the middle of a park all year. These guys only run the mill maybe a few days out of the year. Beautiful little uh, classic brick sawmill. And there's the, the sides that fold up. Some of them have them all the way around. Some concrete poured there. Getting her done. I, I probably should have changed my camera settings. Oh wow, a Tiger Panther. That was the top of the line built in Florida, North Dakota. There's um, a couple of these local that are owned by the same guy, and uh, this is a different one. There's a tractor association that meets here. Um, the parade was at 10.30 this morning, Saturday. But yeah, beautiful Steiger Panther. So that had the KT Cummins in it, man. And uh, if you had one of them, um, you did very well for yourself in that, in that time period. The NTC, Mechanical... And then um, Case IH ended up buying them out. That was, um, it didn't get any better than that. Um, they were out there, it's like Hamilton, uh, Montana, building that big bud. But that was for the guys in California. But this is what we had back here. And uh, you could get a cougar and a tiger, but a, a panther, you was, you was the man. Especially to save the town during the blizzard of 78. And then, uh, that's the way it was. I remember it. So a huge turnout. They clean all this up by the time I get here, though. There's a tent with the association. Really cool Willie's Jeep here. This is the horseshoe pit. There's the concert venue thing over there. Which I've seen Terry Clark twice in her heyday, man. Born in Montreal, Canada.
These guys know how to have a tractor show here. They've, I'm not sure how many of them they've had. Some crawlers. Just lined up pretty organized. There's a water loose over there. I'm looking for implements actually. A ball field and the bull ring go kart track, and then the pulling tracks over here, and the dirt go karts. Monday I'll race over there on the dirt track. There's a case 930 over here. Check out that back. I mean, those are tough to work on, those old ones like that. You talk about dangerous. So, what's going on? Some beautiful red tractors up there. Uh, I'm, I'm crossing the rows. Some green ones, the mini mows. But this one has like a belly mower attachment. A couple high boys. This one, uh, but yeah, the 930. That's another tractor, especially if you had two of those. You, uh, you could farm some land with something like that. Uh, and th this is an Indiana tractor or something? Illinois. And that's why Ohio, we would always get the stuff from the West. It was bought new in Indiana, then we got it. We got to be second owners if we were lucky. You always see the Indiana and the Iowa, the Corn Belt. Check out the 4020 here. Very sexy 4020, man set up right for um, some heavy use and the red one's a 766 white front end a pretty handy loader tractor here built in England for Ford and a real beautiful uh, John Deere's like always here and uh, yeah not a speck anywhere on these guys and uh, you don't see how special it was so you go to a few tractor shows and uh, made it to Portland this year and I was like I think some of these guys around here, and yeah. So this is an exciting part of the show over here, the mums they sell. And so this is from the parade earlier. There's a dirt go kart over there, some newer stuff. Some Their, their school colors are orange and black, they're West Liberty. But they sell these mums, and there's a couple different dealers. And the people, I seen someone coming in, they grabbed two of them, and I went to my grocery store to buy a sub for today. and. The subs were eight fifty, but the mums were thirty dollars a piece. So I ended up going to Aldi's buying enough groceries for almost a week for twenty bucks. And uh, but these mums over here, and uh, you don't want them bloomed out yet when you buy them, so you can enjoy them bloom on the end. So they're doing something right. They bring them in here. They can't pull them in fast enough. They have rigs, and they're constantly bringing these in. Here's kind of the main midway. Uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. Pick which color you want. And she's got 8.50 each on them, and you get a break it when you buy five, something like that. Sure do. And uh, they plant these. That they have a YouTube, and they set up a little assembly line, and uh, over at Urbana. And uh, yeah. busy, busy, busy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bogart Rippy over here, West Liberty Fest, Lions Club Park, Labor Day weekend.